hi guys hi welcome back to my channel yes welcome back to this channel and if you're new welcome join me today um so today we're going to talk about five items that are not necessary in your makeup collection do not waste money on these items especially if you're a dark skinned person yes this is touching specifically on dark skinned people or africans like me these items are not necessary in your makeup collection unlike what um popular consumers want to force or impose upon us they are not necessary in your makeup collection i am highly aware that this is a very what it's one of those topics that you know may bring issues but let's do this just for fun you know um these are, are products that we are being sold to to consume as consumers when actually they are not necessary in our makeup routines and you know people want to get treats so as far as i'm concerned these are products that are not necessary in your makeup collection and if you have not seen my video where I talk about the five makeup items that should be in your makeup collection, if you're planning to start using makeup, or maybe if you want to get rid of excessive makeup, you should retain these items. But in this video, I am specifically talking about items that are completely not necessary. And you might find yourself being lured into purchasing them when they are just like, you know, not necessary for you to purchase them so let's just get into the video and i hope you're going to enjoy this video so the first makeup item especially for africans that is completely and utterly unnecessary for you is blush yes i am a fan of blush contrary to what i am saying but this video is specifically for people who um maybe you or you you want to get into makeup you have a limited budget and you know you might be seduced by the pinks and the pastels and the you know all those colors the rosiness but blush is an item that i feel that as an african it is not necessary for you to purchase blush I occasionally use blush in fact it was one of my favorites but if you go back into the history of blush you'll know that blush first of all let's not even talk about blush makeup in general makeup was made specifically to accentuate your natural features okay natural features so your cheeks turning rosy pink is not a natural feature for an african okay maybe some africans maybe moroccans but for kenyans for ugandans for us dark-skinned africans rosy pink cheeks is is not a natural feature so what are you exactly as you are accentuating with blush you know your rosy pink cheeks i don't think so but anyway if you do have the money to purchase it well and good but it is not necessary in your makeup because it was designed and if you even look at advertisements like for major companies in europe you'll discover that blush is generally used to create a natural look for certain skin tones it's supposed to accentuate because when they blush they they actually turn a rosy pink or to to make them look healthier you know rosy pink shows like a healthy skin tone for paler skin tones but for africans you know you don't turn rosy pink in under any circumstance there is no circumstance i will turn rosy pink or peach pink or any type of pink i personally maybe other africans do but I personally cannot turn peach pink or rosy pink or any shade of pink. So I don't see like how blush is accentuating our natural features. So don't waste your money, guys. Don't waste. Another makeup item that I feel, and I'm talking about me, I'm not talking about what researchers or anybody have has done research on. I feel is completely and utterly and unnecessary and is a waste of your money is actually make i'm saying this is because a lot of good quality moisturizers 
actually provide an adequate base for your makeup so you don't really need to add another layer of a product between your foundation and your moisturizer and like popular belief where they say that well you're supposed to apply your moisturizer and then go ahead and apply your primer and then go ahead and apply your foundation i feel that most moisturizers provide an adequate base for your foundation so you don't really have to buy that primer i mean honestly if you have the money well and good but if you're on a budget i feel that that is a complete and utter waste of your money makeup primer if you even look at most moisturizers by various companies be it Olay, l'oreal just normal companies you'll discover that they actually say that they mix a good base for, for 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 your makeup so if it's already providing a good base for your makeup why do you have to go ahead and add primer or is primer part of the makeup i don't know tell me in the comment section maybe primer maybe it provides a good base for the primer i don't know but in my opinion when they say it provides a good base for your makeup i'm assuming they mean foundation and the rest of the makeup so save your money people and skip on the primer save your money okay my fellow africans <laughs> the third makeup product is directly 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 affecting you and that is color correctors yes i personally believe that color correctors and not just for africans is a complete and utter waste of your money and the reason is this the reason is this color correctors are supposed to you know col correct um let's say um what are they called you know english is not my first language neither is it my second it's my third but <laughs> color correctors normally um prevent um what is it discolorations yes they they're supposed to like you know hide discolorations in your face for example if you have an even skin tone or if your veins normally show the colors of your veins and all that and in my opinion most africans their veins do not show in their skin and it's not only for africans even other people who are fairer skin toned i feel that if you have a a full coverage foundation that is definitely adequate to cover your imperfections in terms of an even skin tone so you don't really need a color corrector because i normally see people apply color corrector then foundation and then concealer that is just too much product unnecessarily so i feel that you should skip on the color corrector and get a full coverage foundation because either way you cannot walk around with a color corrector you will still have to buy a foundation so go for a full coverage foundation and you'll you won't need that color corrector so that is just my opinion but i feel that that is one of the makeup products that is a complete and utter and total waste of your money save your now the fourth item i'm going to tell you that you should actually save your money on is actually bright eyeshadows or big eyeshadow palettes unless you're a makeup artist or you're going for a festival or you're going for a very grand event save your money if you're just buying makeup for example to go to the office with save your money you do not need bright eyeshadows or a whole collection of eyeshadows if anything you do not need any foam, any eyeshadow at all because you can actually use your setting powder to powder your eyes wax it still works but bright nobody goes around walking like this or like this nobody nobody goes around walking like this like seriously no nobody goes around like hey i'm leaving i'm going unless you're totally going for a function that is like a makeup festival or a makeup convention or something of the sort so save your money nobody is walking around looking like they're on from instagram nobody believe you me nobody especially in africa no one please no one no one is walking around looking like those instagram photos you see of cut creases and bright eyeshadow nobody so save your money you can apply your setting powder on your eye after all you can apply your foundation on your eyes even and you top it up with a setting powder so yeah save your money save your money those bright eyeshadows completely useless and 
complete list we're going to talk about highlighters yes a lot of people would love to love highlighters but let's just face the reality it's a lot of product you get a package with a lot of product in it that you'll never ever finish you'll never even reach halfway of that product and not only that what is its purpose like seriously if you've already highlighted with a cream probably concealer or something of the sort you actually do not need a highlighter it's completely and utterly just like the blush utterly useless completely useless i'm not even going to lie useless you're going to use it about a hundred times and it still will not end it will probably expire before you could ever even reach quarter way so save your money you've got the natural glue anyway already especially if you're an african you know we glue we glue if you sweat in the sun you're going to glue so you don't need that extra glue maybe just for the night so um utterly useless you really don't need it you don't need the highlighter it's keep on it yeah it's it's the kind of thing that you know comes and goes like it's a trend so just keep on the highlighter it's not going to help you in any way so unless you're a makeup artist I completely feel that all these products that I've mentioned are completely and utterly useless, especially to Africans, utterly useless. And uh, yeah, don't quote me, but save your money. Just save it, spare yourself, save the money. It's not going to help you in any way and you'll still look beautiful and gorgeous with the rest of the makeup products that I mentioned in the other video, which is the five must-have makeup items in your closet. So these are the five items that you should skip on. You should save your money on the five makeup items that you should not, you do not need in your collection. The five makeup items that you definitely don't have to purchase in your makeup collection. So thank you people for watching this video up to this point. If you haven't yet subscribed, seriously, what are you waiting for? It's 2021 new people. Yeah. Hit the subscribe button i'll truly appreciate it not only will i appreciate it but it will be a good start to 2021 for you and for me so thank you so much guys for watching and i'll see you in my next video ciao i post three times a week don't forget